Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to discuss what is the best keypad for the Honeywell Vista 20P systems. Now if you're going to be looking for um, one of the best keypads, I would suggest the Honeywell 6160RF. Um, it is a very solid choice for the alarm systems and you do have a couple of options that come with it. And I'll explain that a little bit later down the road. Um, you'll be able to see the different features for that keypad. Now the other keypads that are pretty popular choices as well um, and they are very um, good for the systems are the Honeywell Tuxedo Touch, uh, the Honeywell 6280s, and the Honeywell 6160, which is the normal version of the Honeywell 6160RF. Um, also, there's the new keypad, which is the Honeywell 6290W. Um, now, just to give you a little bit of a description about the Honeywell systems, give you a little bit of understanding about it, um, these are hardwired systems that work as the main hub for the security system. So the only way to be able to control that hub or control the system in general, you do need to have a type of keypad set up for it, whether it be a 6160, um, a Tuxedo Touch, or even this is a 6150, um, but we're not talking about those keypads. So, <laughs> but... Um, if you're going to be looking for um, a keypad to be able to do anything, the 6160RF is one of the best ones out there that you can choose from that lets you be able to arm and disarm the system, uh, lets you be able to bypass zones if need be. Um, you can go into deep level programming or programming in general on these systems. You know, the, the keypads allow you to do all of that. Now, <clears throat> the 6160RF keypad, and the reason why um, I suggested or we suggested in general is because this is a keypad that lets you be able to use um, RF sensors or wireless sensors. So the 6160RF uh, basically comes with a built-in wireless receiver that allows your hardwired alarm system to use any wireless sensors, um, basically the Honeywell 5800 series sensors. Plus, this keypad is an alphanumeric keypad, which allows you to be able to go into uh, deep level programming if need be. Um, you know, that is the, the deeper version or the deeper level of the programming to be able to change certain settings or account settings. Um, plus, it does let you go into the basic programming as well. Um, and being that it's an alphanumeric keypad, it shows you a full description of what you're looking at. So this is definitely why we suggest this keypad. Now another feature of the 6160RF is that it does let you be able to backdoor the alarm system um, just in case if you're locked out of programming and don't have the installer code. So you are able to do that. Is it is a very nice feature as well because it is you know an alphanumeric keypad and it's a normal keypad for the alarm system. Now let's say for instance you didn't need to use any wireless uh, sensors but you're just looking for a keypad that lets you access the programming and do all of that, then the Honeywell 6160 uh, would be the other or the next best option. Um, as I said, it is basically the normal version of the 6160RF. Um, really the only difference is that the 6160 does not come with the built-in uh, wireless receiver. So if you're just looking for a normal keypad, then the 6160 is, the, is another good way to go. Now, if you're not you know, looking to go with the 6160 for that deeper level programming stuff like that, and you just want a very normal basic keypad, then the Honeywell 6150 is another option, which is basically this one right here. This is the 6160, and this is the 6150. So as you can tell, um, the 6160 has a larger display. Um, you can see that it is, you know, in full words, disarmed, ready to arm. And then the 6150, um, is a smaller display and it just tells you AC. So <clears throat> this um, normally it would tell you to chime as well, but um, this keypad is not going to be an alphanumeric keypad though. This keypad is a fixed English keypad. And that basically means that when you're going through, you know, for example, programming, um, it's not going to show you in full words as the 6160 would. It would show you numbers and for the different fields that you're accessing. So. Um, but this is a nice keypad for just basic arming and disarming, bypassing zones, stuff like that. But it's not truly the best when it comes to programming. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, now, you know, if you're okay with the 6150, um, but you do want to use any wireless sensors, then there is the 6150 RF keypad. Um, <clears throat> as I explained with the 6160s, the 6150 RF uh, just comes with a built-in wireless receiver that lets you use the Honeywell 5800 sensors with your alarm system. Um, this keypad is still going to be a fixed English keypad, so it's not really going to be the best for programming, um, but it is a good option. 
So just another thing that I want to add in about the 6150RF is that it does allow your system to use 16 wireless zones. Um, while the 6160RF allows you to be able to use as many zones or as many wireless zones as the Vista system will allow you to. So for example, like if you had a Vista 20P system, um, that will allow you to use up to 40 wireless zones. So if you had the 6160 or the 6150RF, you can only use 16 of those, of the 40. Um, if you're using a 6160RF, then you're able to use all 40 of those wireless zones. So that's also another reason why we do recommend uh, the 6160RF keypad. Now, um, you know, let's say you uh, are not looking for, you know, just a generic looking keypad like this, and you want a touchscreen keypad, then the 6280 um, would be a great option. Um, also, the Honeywell Tuxedo Touch is a good option, and the 6290W, which is the new version of the 6280. So, <clears throat> um, as you can see, we actually do have the 6290W right here. Um, but, you know, these touchscreen keypads are really good with the system. It'll, it's, it's a nice user-friendly uh, interface to be able to change certain settings and, um, you know, change certain account settings as well. Um, plus, these keypads also let you use, um, or not use, but let you go into the deep level programming as well if you were to go into console mode. Um, console mode is a setting for these key, touchscreen keypads that basically mimics a normal uh, keypad right here gives you a little image of like what a what the uh, keypad would look like and it would allow you to be able to go into that deeper level programming if you needed to um, now do please keep in mind that with these um, touchscreen keypads if you ever needed to backdoor the system you know to change that installer code or anything these keypads will not allow you to um, <clears throat> the boot up process for them does not um, go along with the boot up process for the Vista panel, so you won't be able to backdoor the alarm system with those. If you're trying to backdoor the alarm system to change that code, then you will need to use either the 6160 um, or the 6150 keypad or even the R versions of both of these. So please keep that in mind. Now one other thing that I wanted to add about the Tuxedo Touch is that the Tuxedo Touch, um, it is a touchscreen keypad, but it will allow your system to be able to use Z-Wave devices. Um, it does have a Z-Wave controller built into it, so if you wanted to control any automation devices, whether it be lights, thermostats, locks, maybe even a garage door, um, if you wanted to do that with your wired alarm system, then the Honeywell Tuxedo Touch would be the way to go because it has that Z-Wave controller built into it. Um, now, unfortunately, the 6280 um, and the Honeywell 6290W um, do not have the built-in Z-Wave controller. So um, if you're looking for that, then you have to go with the Tuxedo Touch. But if you're not looking for any automated devices or anything like that to control with the system, then you can just go with the 6280 or the 6290W. Um, now, also one other thing about these keypads is they are um, considered AUI devices. Um, they do use specific AUI um, slots <clears throat> for the alarm system um, when you're setting these up with the, for the account and everything. So um, there are normally about four AUI slots for a Vista 20 system or a Vista 20P system. Um, for a Vista 15P, if you had one of those, then you're going to be looking at probably two AUI slots. So um, you want to keep that in mind whenever you're trying to set up um, any uh, touchscreen keypads with your Vista series system um, and how many you're able to use. And that is what our suggestion is for the best keypad for the Honeywell Vista 20P. If you have any questions about uh, the Vista 20P or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.